Did I plan this video just so I could come out into the desert and stab things? The spear, in my opinion, is mankind's oldest and most significant weapon. The Greeks, the Macedonians, the Romans, the Chinese, every tribe from every corner of the world has, has used the spear, and we even still use it today. I mean, what's a, a gun and a bayonet if not a really short, expensive spear? But did you know that the spear may have been invented by women and children to stab squirrels? It sounds like I'm winding you up, I'm clickbaiting you, but uh, let me explain. This is the Stone Age origins of the spear. Nice, that was a good one. Yeah. The earliest evidence we have for hafted spears, that's where the uh, shaft has a, a different point on it, not made from just the pointy wood, comes from Kathupan in South Africa. Archaeologists there have found a series of stone points that they believe are spearheads. Partly due to their size, they range up to about 12 centimeters in length, but also because the, the bases have been flattened as if to make it easier to haft them. And microscopic analysis of the points of these stones shows that they have impact trauma rather than the kind of wear you would see if they were used as scrapers. It was believed that only Neanderthals and Homo sapiens had developed hafting technology, but these stone points are dated to 500,000 years ago, which means they must have been made by an earlier hominid, probably Homo heidelbergensis. However, hafting technology would certainly not become common until 300,000 years ago with the, with the full arrival of Neanderthals. Interestingly, the earliest evidence for archery also comes from uh, South Africa, so let me know if you'd be interested in a video on the Stone Age origins of archery, because I'm probably going to make it anyway, but let me know. In terms of unhafted spears, basically just pointy sticks, there's really not a lot of evidence, because the Paleolithic, it's like an erectile dysfunction conference there's just no wood. Wood is only preserved for so long and under really specific conditions, but nevertheless, we have some almost perfectly preserved spears from Schöningen in Germany that are an astonishing 400,000 years old. At 2.3 meters in length on average, they were found next to the remains of 10 horses, and which shows evidence of butchery and flint scrapers and all this stuff, there's clearly a Paleolithic feast on the go. What's really important about that discovery is not just the fact that we have these awesome Stone Age spears, but it really shows the, the cognitive level of hominids of 400,000 years ago. We were able to plan large attacks on herds of animals, herds of big animals, using the correct tools and had the ability to process a lot of meat. I mean, can you imagine, even though they're probably slightly smaller than modern horses, 10 horses worth of meat is a lot of food. Just goes to show what is uh, waiting in the ground to be discovered. It's really an incredible archeological find. Both the finds from Schöningen and Kathupan are incredible, but they are 2 million years later than our earliest evidence for stone tools. So clearly, there's a huge gap in the archaeological record, and the only way we can really fill our gap in that knowledge without some more archaeological discoveries is to look at the behavior of chimpanzees. Now, if you saw my earlier video on the uh, origins of burial, you know that chimpanzees are not hominids stuck in time, but as our closest relative, they're a valid point of reference. <laughs> Chimpanzees living in Senegal have been discovered making spears. If you consider pointy sticks spears, and I certainly do because if you use it to stab something, basically it's a spear. This group of chimpanzees all followed the same construction process in making them. First, they stripped a piece of wood from a tree. They then removed any excess branches and leaves, and then in the majority of cases, bit the stick into a point. They then used these spears to ram into the hollows of trees in an attempt to stab bush babies. I know, it's horrible to our modern sensibilities. They are an adorable snack. Now there are some really interesting points to consider about this observation of this group of chimpanzees. 
The first is that these chimpanzees do not live in the jungle. They're savannah chimpanzees. And that's probably a similar environment in which our early hominid ancestors lived in. And perhaps the same environmental pressures that were placed on our ancestors are now currently being placed on this group of chimpanzees and they're adapting to it in a similar way. That's the kind of planet of the apes thought that keeps you up at night. You know what they say, human see, human do. The second, and that leads back to my clickbait intro to this video, it is the women and children in this chimpanzee group that are really the main users of spears. Men were observed using them, but much, much less frequently. The biologists observing this behavior theorize that as male chimpanzees hunt together in groups, particularly uh, preying on other monkeys, they tend not to share the meat with the women and children. So as they're being denied this resource, they're having to come up with their own way to supplement their diet and they're having to get a little bit creative. <sighs> Interesting thought. The third is that they are not using these sticks to just fish the bush babies out of the hollows. They're really <laughs> jabbing these things into the tree. I know it's a widely documented chimpanzee behavior that they'll use small sticks to fish ants and termites out of their nests, but that is not what is going on in this situation. The only bush baby the biologists actually observed being caught was either dead or totally immobile. It didn't resist or try to escape its capture in any way and was just gobbled up by this uh, little teenage chimpanzee girl. Considering that the last common ancestor of humans and chimpanzees was about five million years ago, it's entirely possible that our ancestors were using rudimentary spears at least that long ago, but they've just left such an insignificant mark on the archaeological record that we, we can't find them. So that's it. That's our best guess at the origins of the spear. It was probably invented by women and babies to stab little fluffy mammals. <sighs> How adorable. See ya. Spooky.